what we've got here is a touchstone uh, fireplace. What's going on is it's not uh, looking like flames. You've got the LED lights that are still working, but it's stuck like it's not working. Um, bought this on Amazon. <clears throat> this is the little motor uh, that makes that, that thing spin, which gives it the flame look. Looks like it's a, a real fire. Um, we're going to be working on this real quick. I'll, well, actually, I'm going to take this off the mount, set it down on the flat surface, and show you how to open it up, and we'll replace that motor. All right, we'll see you in just a bit. All right, so I've got it laying on the bed here real quick. Um, what we got to do is you got to take all these screws. There's quite a few of them. And uh, I think the bracket, yeah, we got to take those off too. So there's quite a few screws around here. Um, we don't have to worry about these, but those and these ones down through here, all the way across, and then that whole back thing pops out. Um, let, me, let me remove those screws and we'll go from there. All right, so I got the back removed. Actually, I was wrong. You don't have to remove those, uh, these little, that what's basically the bracket that holds it up. Uh, for the mount so you flip this up and really this is how it works you got your LED lights in there that light up it reflects up here and then this thing slowly turns and that's what gives it the illusion of a moving fire so that motor right there is needs to be replaced it's bad so I don't know what I did for my other one yeah, here it is. So, uh, this is all we got to do is, is unscrew those two screws. Um, put this in its place. Uh, wire it up. And we should be we should be good to go. Okay, well, uh, I'll actually replace that and we'll go from there. Alright, so I just replaced that motor. Um, this is the, the bad motor. Uh, replaced it. The only thing I had to do is I ended up having to cut these ends off um, Because I didn't have it comes with its own little bracket thing or Clip didn't have that so I ended up just splicing it together right there um, But that'll be just fine so now it's just a matter of Putting it back to putting that back uh, panel back on Flipping it over, putting it back on, putting all the screws in, then uh, putting it back up on the mount. So we'll do that and see if it works. All right, you got it mounted and turned it on and it's working. So that's all it was is that one motor. It, took, it takes probably about 10 minutes to do once you have the motor. Pretty easy. So that was for a touchstone. I'd, I'd imagine they're probably all pretty, pretty similar. Uh, probably, um, probably all fairly similar to do this, pretty much the same thing. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching.